In the next few minutes, you'll see an overview of the different parts of IFTDIS. When you first log into IFTDIS, you'll notice the top navigation bar with links to the planning cycle, my workspace, Matt Studio, Modeling Playground, FTEM, Help, and the user profile. The cycle or planning cycle navigates to specific tasks. It's organized to represent the main stages of landscape planning. For example, the first stage, landscape evaluation, has links to create a landscape, run an automatic 97th percentile landscape fire behavior summary, edit a landscape, and run fire behavior models. Strategic planning has links to compare the influence of weather on fire behavior outputs, develop treatment alternatives, and a series of tasks for performing hazard exposure and risk assessments, including landscape burn probability, map values, exposure analysis, quantitative wildfire risk assessment, and more. All the steps in the cycle are ordered sequentially from landscape evaluation through reporting, but you can use any of the features in any order you choose. Note that you may see some tasks marked as future development. These placeholders are here because the IFTDIS development team is continually in the process of developing and adding features. My Workspace is the file repository for IFTDIS. All the files you create, landscapes, model outputs, reports, shapes, they're all stored here. Like your computer, my workspace is organized in a folder structure where you can create a folder by clicking on the Create Folder prompt. You can also rename or delete folders with the controls that appear in the top right if you hover over the folder name. As you create and store files, you'll see them listed here. Clicking on a file shows the options for that file, as well as displaying file metadata in the right-hand panel. And on the left panel, you'll find filters to help you browse your files. Map Studio is the geospatial part of IFTDIS. Here you can view landscapes and model outputs, overlay these with each other, as well as shapes, IFTDIS reference layers, and other files, and visually assess your data. In some parts of IFTDIS, such as landscape editing, you can view the application in split screen to see the Map Studio on one side of the screen and the rest of the interface on the other. Modeling Playground is where you can select and run models outside of the more structured planning cycle. Here you'll see a drop-down menu listing all of the models currently available in IFTDIS. You'll notice along the bottom there's a list of all model runs stored in my workspace, in addition to any model runs that may be currently processing. Like my workspace, you can click on a file to see options and metadata. In Playground, you'll also have the option to copy a run. Copy is useful, for example, if you want to run a model with several of the same variables the same, except for, say, fuel moisture. You can copy that run, adjust some of the variables, give it a descriptive name, and click Run. Returning to the top navigation bar, you'll see FTEM. This stands for Fuels Treatment Effectiveness Monitoring. I'm going to omit this because it's a feature specific to federal land managers who are tasked with monitoring fuel treatments and reporting wildfire interactions. So if you're not tasked with this, you won't have to pay attention to the FTIM option. On the right, you'll see your user profile where you can update your user information such as your email. Finally, there's the Help tab. You can choose to open the Help Center in a new tab or use the About This Page option to open a tab containing the Help Center topic specific to the part of IFTDIS that you're working in. There's also the User Forums. 
the help tour, which opens all the field help on the page. And if all else fails, the request support option, where you can send a ticket to the IFTDIS support desk. There is also information accessible on many pages in IFTDIS, both displayed in the right-hand panel and the clickable question marks on many IFTDIS headings. So that's a brief tour of IFTDIS. For more in-depth information, you may refer to our how-to videos or browse the IFTDIS Help Center.